Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm Jason. And, and we're, we're the Shiva Guys. Guys. Welcome to Clover Tool School. Extra credit. All right, so this is what our swatch ruler and needle gauge looks like right out of the package. Um, it comes like this with the, uh, with the hook gauge right in the center. So you'll take that out, and this is what you'll have. Okay, it's two pieces. And um, this is the needle gauge and swatch ruler. We're going to get to that in a second. And this is your hook gauge, all right? Now, the way this works is it's really simple. With the needle gauge, you'll put your needles through the hole to see which one fits, right? Um, and you can see my hook gets kind of caught in that, and that's kind of a pound. So on the Clover Amore hooks, it has it written right on here. But sometimes this might wear off or whatever. Um, this is an I 5.5 millimeter. Now I can check that. I look right here. It says I 5.5. Ta-da! And it fits right into it. Now, of course, it'll also fit in the J, but it moves around in there. So with the I, it slides snug in there. You can see that. I mean, that is a snug. And so, okay, so that's the size. And I'm, pu I'm not putting the throat of the hook in. See that? I'm not putting the throat in because, of course, that's the... But it's the shaft, this part right here. Know the parts of your crochet hook. It's the shaft right here, and we're putting that right in, boom, like that. And that, of course, is where you get your gauge with your crocheting. All right, I do want to point out the feature that goes with this is that you'll see there's three different, especially here on the one that we were just on, the eye, is that it has... It says 9 uh, slash 0 I and 5.5. What that is, you'll look right over here in this corner, and it says that the top line is the Japanese standard, because, of course, Clover is uh, a Japanese company. Clover Japan produces this. And so the Japanese number is also good for international. Uh, if you look at uh, international crochet magazines, they'll have these numbers. And it also has the U.S. letter in it. So for ours, it said I. And then it has the millimeters. And another good one for international standards is a lot of times they will just put the millimeter on there. So let's say you use a 5.5 millimeter hook. And of course, it's it's right here on the handle of your more crochet hooks. But in case you have a hook that it's worn off or you have like a custom made uh, wooden hook or something, um, you'll be able to check the gauge that it, is, that it is correct here. And that is important when you are knitting or crocheting that you're getting the correct gauge. And again, you'll do the exact same thing with your um, knitting needles. Uh, the knitting needles, it comes in a U.S. size up here and the millimeter size down here on the bottom. And then you switch it over here and it comes, these are the Japanese sizes. All right, and so now moving on to our swatch gauge ruler. This is, uh, if you are knitting or crocheting anything, it is very important that you do a swatch and you check your gauge. Uh, this has a, a four by four inch window, and you'll see the measurements right here, four by four. And then on this side in the gray, it has one through 10, that's the centimeters. So 10 centimeters, four inches, 10 by 10. Four by four. But here's a crochet uh, swatch that we did. This is in a herringbone half double crochet stitch, and it's in a variegated yarn. So it's a little difficult when you just look at the swatch to actually count the stitches sometimes. This helps you focus in on a certain area and count the stitches in that area. All right. Um, and this is again, this is a blocked swatch. And so after you do that, you will go through and you'll line it up. And I will count the number of rows. So for this one in rows, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And that is almost an 18th row. So I'll say 18 rows in 4 inches. So that's my row gauge. And then I'll go through and I'll count the um, stitches. And here we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and a half. So 24.5 stitches in four inches or 10 centimeters. And that will tell me my blocked gauge for this crocheted piece. And of course it works exactly the same for knitted pieces. All right, so one more feature of being able to check your gauge is, um, you're of course going to check your blocked gauge, but you also need to check your stitched gauge. And that means the gauge of your stitches and rows before 
you actually block the piece. So what you'll do is you'll take an uh, you'll take this measurement twice. You'll do it once before you block this, and then again after you block it and make a note of that on your paper. Because while you're working, you'll know that your stitched stitches and rows per inch, your stitching gauge, if that's going to meet your blocked gauge. All right, so you actually will take two different gauges with this. That's what we recommend. You take your stitched gauge and your blocked gauge because then you can match, you can make sure that your stitch gauge is gonna come out this way. All right, so that is the swatch ruler and needle gauge. And again, from Lover.